The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? I remember landing under sniper fire. Dead, we just ran with our heads down to get into the vehicles uh, to get to our base. Problem is, that's not what happened. And we should know, CBS News accompanied the First Lady and daughter Chelsea on that Bosnia trip. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> right? The racist... called out President Clinton for defending Secretary Clinton's use of the term super predator back in the 90s when she supported the crime bill. Why, why did you call him out? Because it was a racist term and everybody knew it was a racist term. Not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heal. 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 That is your position. Then I will talk only to white people. Super predator. Okay, fine. We'll talk you about apologize it. to black people for mass incarceration? Well, can I... Have you voting for Hillary? But that's a wicked woman. All of a sudden, she know about Trevon Martin? All of a sudden? The boy been dead nearly two years. Now she's talking about him like she met the mother and, oh, oh. this is Satan. You fall for that crap? Most of you that went to jail for having a little blunt in your pocket, they arranged that, the Clintons. Mass incarceration came about under the Clintons. Don't forget that. They call you a super predator that has no conscience, no sensitivity, like you a dog, you an animal. We got to bring you to heal. You, my young brothers, this is what she said about you. And she didn't just say it. It became law and policy of the U.S. government under Bill Clinton. Sister Hillary Clinton is the Millie Vanilli of American politics. She lip sings, she gives lip service, but when it comes to policy, who supported crime bill? Who supported the, not just deregulating of market of banks, but also pulled the rug from under welfare? Do you know how much money Donald Trump has given to that organization to help the inner city of, of, of black youth? Mm -hmm. I said, did you know that it was Donald Trump that donated space to Jesse Jackson for the Rainbow Coalition when he had his organization there rent free? Mm -hmm. I told her, before you call somebody racist, check your facts first. Check your facts. Because black... Uh, I now want to bring forth a friend who has uh, well he is deceptive in that his social style is of such one can miss his seriousness and his commitment for the success is beyond argument uh, when we opened this Wall Street project and we talked about it you give us space at 40 Wall Street which was to make a statement about our having a presence there uh, and uh, beyond that, in terms of reaching out and being inclusive, he's done that too. Uh, and credit for many people are comfort zone when I ran for the presidency uh, in 84 and 88. And many others uh, thought it was either laughable or something to avoid. He came to our 
business meeting here in New York because it has this sense of the curious and a will to risk to make things better. And so aside from all of, of his style uh, and his um, pizzazz, he is a serious person who is an effective builder of building with a builder of people. Last year he was a part of our workshop, of our panel workshop on what are the challenges and opportunities. And so this, a year later, Donald Trump, uh, for a few minutes, challenges and opportunities to embrace the underserved communities. Donald Trump. I will tell you, a large percentage of the people, and especially in construction, that are building these great jobs are black and minorities, and I'm very proud of it. We have uh, close to 25 percent, and I think the number's going up, and they do a great job. There are no better builders than we have in New York, and a big percentage of that is black and minority folks. So I just want to thank everybody in the room for being here. I look forward to some questions. And then I don't know how we're ever going to leave this building today, because if you look outside, it is terrible. But we'll figure a way. There's always a way. And thank you, and thank you, Jesse, and congratulations. She was like, Donald Trump, he's racist. So I was like... Well, what do you mean he's racist? Who who said he's racist? Talking about it, they say it on the news. There you go. So I had to break down to her first off. Do she know Jennifer Hudson? Mm -hmm. I had to ask her, do you know Jennifer Hudson? She was like, well, yes, I know Jennifer Hudson. Mm -hmm. I said, did you know that Donald Trump is the one that gave her a place to stay in his tower with security rent free? Mm -hmm. While she went through that tragedy mm -hmm. that happened in her family a That's few right. years ago, she looked like, huh? I said, it was Donald Trump mm -hmm. that did that, mm -hmm. boo, for that black sister. Mm -hmm. You were against same-sex marriage. Now you're for it. You defended President Obama's immigration policies. Now you say they're too harsh. You supported his trade deal dozens of times. You even called it the gold standard. Now, suddenly, last week, you're against it. Will you say anything to get elected? 